Hand hygiene is a big concern for hospitals because hands are the thing that healthcare workers use to help uh, caring for patients, whether it's just shaking hands or assisting them with their television to doing a complete examination. We believe that hand hygiene performed by healthcare workers uh, is one of the cornerstone strategies to reduce those types of infections. There's lots of evidence from the 1800s and since then that hand hygiene really reduces infection. You have an observer stationed uh, in a clinical area who's watching the healthcare workers as they go in and out of patient rooms and recording on a paper form. So one of the things we noticed was that a lot of hospitals had very high hand hygiene rates, and this is good, but a lot of the same hospitals also have very high infection rates. We were looking at this problem of unreliable data and wondering what we could do about it. How do we get more reliability and more accuracy in the process? Handy audit is customized to the institutions. You would pick your unit, pick the room at random, and then observe healthcare workers. Whatever tasks the healthcare worker is doing, you're able to record it um, via touch screen. It doesn't require the auditor to make those judgment calls of whether or not a healthcare worker complied or not. They are simply recording tasks, and it's the handy audit that has the logic built into it to, to determine compliance. It's kind of the best of both worlds. You have the objectivity and the consistency of an electronic system, but also the understanding and the in-depth context that only a person can provide. One of the really great things about the team here is that there's always an eye towards practical use, ultimately, for the research, so that it doesn't just sit in a bubble, but it can go out and affect real change in the world. We've expanded to more than 120 sites. We're being used uh, for research at Johns Hopkins, uh, in, as a teaching tool in South America, and we're expanding internationally because there's a lot of interest and a lot of need for it. We came together with a group of engineers, nurses, uh, designers, to figure out how we were going to address this problem. And so a reminding system at the time seemed to be the best idea. Each nurse would, has an individual batch that tracks her movements throughout the unit that is wired. Every location in the hospital also has sensors at the exit or the entrance of the rooms. And so whenever the nurse moves in and out those rooms, the system actually knows and can track and remind that nurse to wash their hands. We have um, now in place a technology that follows individual staff and prompts them to wash their hands and then at the same time provides them with a performance record of their hand hygiene compliance at the end of the shift. We've seen a true behavioural change. We see an almost tripling of hand hygiene activities, but we also see a lot more hand hygiene activities that are performed not prompted by the technology, but because staff is more aware, so it's been quite successful. We need hand hygiene to become a habit like wearing a seatbelt. And we need reminders, and not reminders sort of at the end of the month where somebody says, you know, your compliance was only 40%, but reminders immediately at the moment when you don't do it, at least until this becomes a widespread habit throughout the healthcare system.